A triple homicide suspect spotted in Spokane Tuesday afternoon has vowed to shoot it out with police to avoid capture. Detectives say John Allen Booth shot three people to death in Lewis County early Saturday, and now the focus of an intense manhunt is in our area. KXY Force Jeff Humphrey live in the Garland District where Booth was seen leaving in a black Honda. Jeff. Dave Spokane Sheriff's deputies searching for Booth say they're pretty sure that Booth has now ditched that Honda now that we have connected him to that particular vehicle. They are also concerned about anyone's safety that comes into contact with Booth, especially because of something that Booth recently said to his mother. While most crooks shy away from violent crimes and the longer prison terms that come with them, John Booth seems to prefer the hands-on approach. He's been convicted of hitting someone in the head with a crowbar, whacking a different victim in the face with a claw hammer. However, nothing compares with Booth's alleged attack on two men and a 16-year-old boy, all three shot to death on Saturday. Because of his previous record, Booth has now maxed out his offender score and, if captured, faces life in prison. That's one reason why this weekend Booth called his mother to say he was sorry, but that he would never see her again. Booth told his mom he can't stand the thought of being behind bars and that he would make police kill him in a shootout. That's why if Booth is spotted in Spokane a second time, the sheriff or chief is planning a full SWAT team call out. A greater concern is that a lone officer will inadvertently pull over Booth and face the desperate fugitive by themselves. Now, Booth last seen driving that black Honda, but he does know how to hotwire cars and may have picked up a new ride. Both the police and sheriff's office now actively looking for Booth, and they warn the rest of us that he still has his gun and apparently not afraid to use it. Reporting live in North Spokane, Jeff Humphrey, KXLY4.